Hi everyone, you all right? I'm not all right. I've hurt my back. It's killing. I can't even hardly breathe. But I'm battling on. I've had two paracetamol. Um, I'm going to make um, a pavlova. And I always like to do this in the morning, hence I've just got up. Well, not just, but not long. Um, because I like to let it cool in the oven, stops it, keeps it marshmallowy, stops it cracking. You need to put seven egg whites into a bowl, just split them and put the yolks in another one. Now the bowl that your egg whites are in has got to be very clean. So even though it's clean out the cupboard, wash it again with some washing up liquid and dry it out because if there's a tiny bit of grease on there, your egg whites won't whip up. So get your, either get your whisk out and get your bingo wings working or get an electric whisk to it. Right, you can see it's coming together but that's still not thick enough. Weigh out 350 grams of sugar and add it gradually. Caster sugar that is. Now you'll notice the sugar turns it glossy. Whisk in a teaspoon of vanilla. There, we're about there. See, I've lifted the whisk out and you've got two peaks there. That's what you want, you want peaks. Put in two teaspoons of corn flour and whisk that in. So it's the corn flour that's gonna make it all marshmallowy in the middle. Now, can we have a chat about vinegar? Don't put vinegar in your meringues. They'll just taste of vinegar. I don't care what chef, what celebrity chef, tells you to put vinegar in your pavlova don't because it will taste of vinegar they tell you it doesn't but it does I've done it and it tastes of vinegar no one wants meringue that tastes of vinegar you just need two teaspoons of corn flour so I'm gonna need to have a wipe down right, so choose a nice dish or plate for your meringue to go on I just put it straight onto the dish and straight into the oven there now I've split mine between two because I'm gonna give somebody a little one. They will rise, so give them room to rise. Now they're going to the oven on 120 for an hour. Leave them alone. These have had an hour, now you can see. Turn the oven off and just leave them there for a couple of hours to cool. So the meringues are cooled down nicely. We're gonna do the filling. Creme de patissier is the posh name. It's really just cream and custard. So I've made and let cool a pint of custard. You can use a tub of custard, a carton of custard, or you can make your own. Entirely up to you, it doesn't matter. Just a carton of custard, whip up a carton of double cream. So I've whipped my cream and I've loosened off my custard. So we just need to mix the two together Brilliant, it's lovely. Oh, that's good. Put that into your meringue. It needs to go into the meringue now, and if you just look at this, don't worry about cracks, but can you see in there the marshmallow? I've made two. You can make two, you can make four, you can make one massive one, doesn't matter. Now don't be shy with the strawberries, get them piled on. 